So maybe, maybe here. Maybe with Flash looking over my shoulder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to keep track of what's going on. I'm gonna lose track. I'm sure. But. So we're on. I, I don't actually know if this is a, a two player map or a four player map. The volumes of. And look at the APM count. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an APM counter in StarCraft Remastered. Um, and both of them have it turned on. And both of them are between four and five hundred APM. This is just them chilling, apparently. I'm, I'm going to turn it down a little because I can't understand Korean. So it's just going to distract me. This is Larva versus Flash. So Flash, of course, is the best player in the world. Um, for those who don't know, Flash is the best gamer of all time. And you might be like, LOL, you're just exaggerating. But it, it's, there's, a, there's a strong argument to be made that he is the best gamer in the history of gaming. Um, especially considering he's still active. I don't have the replay. I would cast if I had the replay, but seeing both the... It's hard to focus because they're both doing two different things, right? Oh yeah, I should probably search, switch to StarCraft for the time. This is a, a, not a short game, so I'm going to switch over to StarCraft. It's Tiny Winter. It's Tiny Flash! But it does look, it will, it will be a hatchery for Larva. Uh, he's adding the pull on before adding a third hatch, it looks like. Whereas on the other side, Flash has yet to take a gas geyser. So this probably means he's going to be going for an expansion. And it's pretty customary in Terran versus Zerk to just go for bioplay. He's actually getting double drone blocked right now, which is in, in many games considered to be a dick move. Did he start the command center? I'm not sure he was able to start the command center. Does he have four drone? Did he just four drone run? No, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Flash, engineering bay blocked, Larva's third. Yes. I was like, oh my god, there are four drones? What are you doing? You're crazy! No, he had four drones, so his engineering bay wouldn't block his base. I just... Wrong side. I gotta concentrate on one at a time. I'm gonna be looking at Flash right now. I'm just gonna be looking at Flash for a little bit and try to see what he's doing. Flash is the Terran, for those who don't know. It does look like he's opening up, and he's taking a, the back base. It looks like it's a back base here. I don't know the map, but based on how everyone has expanded and the look of the map, there's a base that's kind of safe in that corner that's actually further away than your main. Uh, so taking that first means Flash probably won't come under any sort of serious attack. There is music in the background right now. I can turn the trance on, but I can't... If I turn this... I'll turn the sounds up a little. They're going to get overwhelming because they're coming from both streams, but... They don't talk much. Brood War and StarCraft players, you might have seen me when I'm actually playing a real game. You don't talk past, like, the four-minute mark. Not really. And Flash... Flash doesn't make his money by, by witty comments or um, good commentary. Flash makes his money by beating nerds. Uh, that, that's, and he makes a lot of money just off of streaming. <laughs> We're talking, like, 40000 a month in U.S. dollars. So he's doing pretty well. Larva isn't quite there, but he's very... He's in the top ten, I believe of Brood War streamers in Korea, so. Uh, this is on Africa TV, you can probably tell by the logo. Alright, the lair is on the way for Larva here. He has three hatcheries. Um, he will more than likely be going for the Spire early. In Brood War, the builds are kind of figured out. Um, it's, it, it really is about execution. All right. Looks like that will definitely supply block. And I'd imagine he's commenting on... He was supply blocked as the Overlord died. And then it's not getting any better now. One popped out, then the OV died. No, he actually opened up with a Hydra Den. And is that going to be for Lurkers? First, or is he actually going to get a Hydra Lisk upgrade? I didn't actually catch if he started upgrading off of that. Yeah, uh, the top 10 Brood War streamers flash at the top, but um, they actually, it, it's public on Afrika TV because all the donations go through the site. You can see how much money each of those streamers makes just directly off the stream. And uh, I'd be lying if I wasn't a little jealous. Um, but yeah, flash is usually between forty and $50,000 a month. 
Uh, he usually has between five and 15,000 viewers or something like that. So I'd say he's pretty popular. Besides, you know, winning every single tournament. Um, but the barracks are coming up now. He's got an armory already. Uh, I'm not sure what the armory so quick is for. I'm trying to think of what does the armory help you build, like, quick. He's getting a... Is that a Valkyrie? I believe he's building a Valkyrie, actually. He just built a Valkyrie. Is that to kill overlords? Is this like the roaming Viking? I'm, but he, he built a Valkyrie, and I assume he's searching for overlords here, so... That's, um... I've never seen that. I haven't watched that much Brood War. I have to... I've Just assume when I say things, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I just... I know enough to know how little I know. Um... So I'm just... I'm winging it right now. But... I, I've never really seen anyone go for the Valkyrie that early. Uh, I guess that could help with scouting a lot as well, as I drop all my frames. Hopefully we'll be back eventually. Apparently not. Can I blame you too? Okay, we're back now after a, a slight lag storm. That'll happen sometimes. My internet's been annoying. But the lurkers are already out. Flash is doing his first attack, but there were no there were no mutilisks. Uh, I'm not sure if Flash scouted this. The larva went straight into lurkers. It's pretty customary to go for mutilisks just to have the ability to harass. But he didn't go for a corner base. He got quick three base. He does have a spire. Okay, a spire is up. But he just has scourge. You see him right there roaming around. I think he he, he died. He, an overlord died to a Valkyrie. So uh, he, he wants to deal with that. The spire and the hydralis done for lurkers are the two main pieces of tech. And then eventually later on you'll add on your hive and go for defilers and ultralis potentially. Um, defilers with dark swarm... And, but, and Plague are, let's just say, very, 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 very... Everything's broken. Um, everything's broken in Brood War. Oh, he got the Valkyrie. Nice pick off. But everything's broken in Brood War. Every spell, every ability, every unit. It's just, it's it's not... It's so hard to actually move things around and, and use all your spells and abilities that it, it balances out. And if you look at the supplies, this is also very customary in Brood War. Zerg has a lot less supply because the units they make are so... It, it, it's not like StarCraft II at all. Terran is actually... Um, Terran is kind of close to how it is in StarCraft II, but Zerg is not. Zerg is entirely different. You're down on supply, sometimes you're down on bases, but you just focus on these real strong units that are hard to deal with, like the Lurker, like Defilers, uh, stuff like that. But it's pretty customary, especially with a player like Flash, for the Zerg to be down on supply. That doesn't mean he's losing. Uh, it, it's hard for, like, I don't know. It doesn't look like he's losing right now. He still has three bases. He's still able to build drones. He's going for a fourth base, and he has extra macro hatches, which are required because there are no injects. Flash is already starting to build. Ooh. He's already starting to switch up. You see he lifted his barracks there. He's switching into factories because early on... Bio units can put on a lot of pressure, but as soon as the Zerg starts going... Like, there's Turtle Terran in StarCraft 2, and in StarCraft 1, Zerg is a lot more turtly, uh, at least early on. Like, you have Lurkers, and the only way to break it is... Well, what people worked out was switching into Mech, the only reliable way. So so Flash has kind of decided, okay, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not making Marines anymore. And the Scourge actually scouts that, Larva realizes. That's actually pretty lucky of him. Um, but Flash is going to start going vultures and tanks and science vessels. Uh, and we, we're making the transition. And he's got three bases for a turn early on. So this is like super high economy game. At least from what I've seen. It's usually a struggle to get three bases up safely. This has been the most passive get three bases up. I mean, there's a lot going on in the middle of the map. But it looks like the layout of the map is a lot more conducive to getting more bases up. Why is there a less emphasis on worker harass? Once again, I'm not an expert. But there's a lot less ability to do it in general. Worker harass is still very important and very good. It's just there are a lot less ways to do it 
Overlord drop isn't really a thing until later on. Uh, for Terran, you have, like, the option of doing Vulture run buys or drops, but the drops aren't Metavex. Just drops in general are pretty clunky. Uh, it's just hard to control the units, which is why it doesn't happen as often. It's still a focus, um, but it is a lot more... A lot more often, I guess you could say, uh, about the fights and getting your army out of getting their army out of position. But this is an attack here. The overlords are detectors, by the way. You don't need overseers; it's just the overlords. There's a handful of lurkers, but Flash seems to be confident fighting through. But yeah. Narva did eventually... The supplies are starting to look a little better, too. 100 to 137. Flash is getting tanks out. He didn't have tanks before. Once he has tanks, he can actually potentially push back. But at the same time, Narva has defilers, which, much like vipers, they're pretty much... Vipers are pretty much flying defilers, essentially. There are differences, but think of them in the same way. Uh, defilers cast Dark Swarm. And no ranged attacks work under the Dark Swarm. Yeah, there's some details like Siege Tank Splash. But the Dark Swarm means your units are invulnerable or very close to it because all Terran units are ranged. Unless you pull the SCVs out to fight the Zerglings and the Lurkers, if you have a Dark Swarm, they essentially can't shoot you. Splash damage still hits, like Siege Tank, but the, the single target does not. So any attack that directly hits, they'll still fire is the thing too. It's not like StarCraft 2. Just assume your units are dumber than you ever knew. Because in Brood War, in Brood War, they'll still shoot at the things in the Dark Swarm. They just won't hit anything. Um, they just won't hit anything, is the summary. <laughs> so they'll stand there and continue shooting at things they can't hit unless you control them otherwise. All right, Flash sieging up his tanks. He was able to get some irradiates from the science vessel, it looks like. The Irradiate uh, does damage in an AoE to a biological unit um, on whatever you cast it on. So you cast it on a Defiler, it'll kill the Defiler. So that's the Terran counter there. The Science Festival technically also has EMP if you research it, but Irradiate is way better because you can kill like Lurkers and stuff. Dark Swarm also lasts approximately two years, so it's pretty good. Larva's setting up drops all over the place right now. He's setting some up towards the top. It looks like he's got some. There's no select all army hockey. You can only select 12 units at a time. That's why Zerg in particular is so hard. You can select only six supply of Zerglings in a single selection or control group. That's ridiculous. All right. They're going to have it out here. Looks like he got an irradiate on a defiler. Yep. Um, but the Dark Swarm will push Flash back. He's at 155 supply. He's actually adding on turrets. If you look, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I keep looking at Larva. I should look at Flash. Um, he's actually adding on turrets. So I think he suspects the drops out of the Overlords. Any Overlord could have units in it. There's no graphical difference. The, those five Overlords you see could just be hanging out, or they could be full of lurkers. You don't know. You just have to figure it out. You kill the Overlord, you know it, it doesn't matter anymore. But. but there's some Scourge here to counter the Science Vessels. He's bringing the Scourge in. He just hotkeyed them. Will they be able to connect? Flash is micro -wing back. That's a lot of tanks. He targets down the Scourge. He's repelled Larva, who's starting to bank up a lot of money. It's really hard to make units as Zerg and actually spend your money. But Flash handled that attack beautifully. And now he's actually pushing forward because he has so many tanks. Re-expanding as well. Flash is on four bases. Larva on four bases. Now, Flash is getting kind of close to maxing out, which definitely means... Oh, Plague! Plague! Um, he did get a flag on the Marines. For those who don't know... If, if I hear any goddamn comments about how I pronounce Plague. But Plague brings your units to 1 HP. It doesn't kill them, but they're at 1 HP by the time it ends. They can be healed or repaired after that. That's a lot of Mutas. He just switched into Mutas. 
Is that two groups of Mutas? Yeah, he has two groups. You can see him tapping between them right now. But there are already Goliaths. Are there enough Goliaths, though? Because Mutas are really good. It, it looks like there are just barely enough. No, more Mutas! So Flash, I think, had his suspicions, but he wasn't fully prepared. That's a lot of Mutas. That's why Larval was banking up so much money. I mean, he still has a lot of minerals, but two groups of Mutas right off the bat. And it definitely took... That's kind of a risky move. He did clear out all the Marines, but if, if there are too many science vessels with a Radiate, uh, or he prepared too much with Goliaths, or too many Marines happen to be left over. But he kind of nailed this timing, and now Flash is losing all his tanks. Hmm. Now, what does Larva do to capitalize on this? Does he continue making Mutas? Flash is just kind of making some more Goliaths while still going Tank Vulture. His Mutal Harass is starting to get real fucking annoying. Oh yeah, Flash leaned forward. He started like this. Now he's like this. I don't know. Flash is no longer chilling. This game got serious when those Mutas came in. Alright. He's still getting... I mean, there's a lot of Goliaths, but a couple of Radiates could kill all the Mutas, potentially. I'm not sure why he doesn't focus down the Science Vessels. I guess he's just taking what he can get. He's trying to cut off this army. Larva still has plenty of money. It's just such a struggle as Zerg. Because you got to build from all the hatcheries all around the map. It's a massive pain. <laughs> there goes the Science Vessel. This is full Zerg right here. He just switched into the mutas he first uh he forced out the mech and then he got the dark swarm and forced out the science vessels then he killed the marines and got the mutas and now he's back on the ground with huge huge swarms of units the mutas are killing one of the command centers i think he's just going to leave one muta group now he's making ground units again but he's supply block larva's actually pretty hard supply block right now Remember, every single worker you build has to manually be sent to mine. During all of this, they're building workers and sending them to mine at new bases and everything like that. This game is so fucking hard. It's ridiculous. Back in my day, we wanted to give ourselves Carpal Tunnel for a hobby. I'm not sure exactly what the upgrades are. I think plus... Was that plus two or plus three? I, I heard an upgrade finish, and Larva just restarted one. Or started one, but I'm not exactly sure where we're at right now. Does a radiate damage stack? I'm pretty sure it does. I'm not 100%. Narva's actually going for the turrets in the main. Does he Does he want to fight him? Turrets suck, by the way. Mutas just slaughter turrets. Even a hand... Like, he only has like five, six mutas. It's like, fuck it, let's take these turrets out. <laughs> turrets really suck. That's why you always see like three or four. Flash has already had surgery for his wrist. I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. All right, he's loading up a Lurker drop. Does he go to the main production? Because if you kill the production of Terran, then you can work on the army. If you just keep taking fights, they're just going to keep rebuilding units. A Dark Swarm. There were Defilers. He just took, like, half his army into the main. Flash already has tanks there. How is? I want to see how Flash handles this. Because he's got a traffic jam in his main base right now. Like... He can't get his units out. Get up in there. Yeah, he can't get his units. They're stuck between the depots. Pass on the left. I don't know. And then, now you see on, on Larva's mini-map, as this is happening and Flash is trying to clean all this up, he's moving to hit some of the bases. He's, he couldn't break the front without without pulling him back. 
But Flash still has a lot of units out here. The Lurkers have slaughtered. Flash is supply blocked at 165 over 138. This game is actually kind of getting ridiculous because Larva is struggling to spend his money. And Flash has so many bases, but he's lost his production. He's supply blocked. He has to rebuild. He doesn't have any more minerals in his main. It's pretty rare. We're 21 minutes in. It's pretty rare to see a Brood War game. Well, I mean, you'll see plenty of games, but actually mining out of bases takes like 15, 20 minutes in Brood War. It's, it's a lot, lot longer. Why, is he gonna, what is he doing with those drones? Oh, he has a base in the south. They're both at 300 something APM right now, now that everything's died down a little, by the way. All right, Flash, like, Flash still has half the map. He, he had to recover from that. It's so hard. Oh, did somebody make a noise? I think that was Larva. Like, oh shit, this game's still going. He didn't do critical damage. Flash is still kicking. And hard. Are those queens? He's got like, what's he gonna do with like eight queens? I have no idea. I've barely ever seen this unit used. They have Entangle. They have Parasite, which gives you permanent vision of a unit until it dies, right? And then they have Spawn Broodling which kills a unit and spawns broodlings. Is he going to use that to kill tanks? Is that the play? Because I don't think Entangle's that big of a deal right now, right? It's not Entangle, it's Ensnare. Ensnare. It, so he can just kill a tank line with the... Oh, the drop's coming in. He'll eat it. I, I wonder if that front, the front overlord's... Well, he'll get, he'll get out of all of this, like, a Defiler and a couple Lurkers. That was pretty rough. That was a lot of turrets. I mean, it's still a pain to deal with. Another Dark Swarm. Did he eat up some of the Zerglings under there? I'm not sure. We're starting to mine out of additional bases here. That's so many! He has 12 queens! Flash is finally pushing again. There are a couple bases in the middle that could be taken. Every other base that's- Oh no! Run! Run! SCV! Pull the boys! Larva's maxed out. Flash is at 186. He's still got a lot more mining besides this. He still has like three mining bases. And it's taking him so long to dislodge because you have to wait until the Dark Swarm runs out, which is two years. <sighs> oh, oh, he dropped Lings. I was like, why is he doing that? Is he just giving away Overlords? No, he dropped a bunch of Cracklings on the tanks and killed them. Oh, oh. What did the Defiler? Oh. Plague! All over the Vultures, too. But he can repair those. Not that it's a big deal to repair. He has money in the bank. I'm not sure. What his, yeah, his production in his main is still fine. Another lane drop coming through. Larva has money in the bank. Larva has money in the bank right now, but... Immediately Dark Swarm. Where was that Dark? I, I, I didn't even know where he was. Flash is taking the middle of the map. I keep looking at Larva screen. I should look at Flash screen more. It's hard to focus. All right. There's a lot going on. I can't follow one of them, let alone both. Somebody. There's just a, some girl behind him moving chairs around. That's like his camera shaking around. It's like, no. Nope. No reaction out of Larva. <laughs> what? I just stole a chair! How did... There's still a ton of tanks in the main, but he at least cleared out the turrets here so he can maybe drop again. Mm. 
He's like, ah, uh, this game. Yes, he, he has like double. He has like 20 queens. Oh, he's queuing up. He's queuing it up. He's queuing up each spell individually because otherwise they'll all cast the same spell. He's using each one. Like, for example, if you have 10 Templar all with a storm and you click storm once, it'll cast 10 storms. The Broodlings all over the tanks. How does Flash, how does Flash respond? He's leaning real far forward now. He's really leaning forward. Like, he's, he's, he's in it. More queens! He's tried to, he irradiated one. He's trying to micro the queens away. And the tanks, I mean, tanks are really fucking good. They can also be really good against your own units if, if they don't. But you can't just, you can't just fight with queens only. Right? Like, that's not a thing. So, he didn't quite get what he wanted with that one. Ooh, the spider mines almost landed on the tanks there, but he was able to get them back. More brood legs! Flash, it's, it's 151. Flash doesn't have really much money in the bank. Larva is running. His bank's running out. Like, if he doesn't keep Flash out of the middle of the map, he's going to run out of money. Is that really where we are now? Is this a money game as opposed to a winning game? I think it is. Oh, my God. Look where he is. We're at almost... There's the... We're, we're nearing the 45-degree lean. We're almost there. The closer he gets to his keyboard, I mean to his monitor, the more serious this shit is. This is, we we are at like 30, 35 degrees right now. Okay. <laughs> He's targeting down some of these. There are probably some cracklings in there. Forced to pull back, even with the dark swarms. That's a lot, of, that's too many times. That can't be good for you. But Flash has maintained over 150 supply, except for that massive attack. <gasps> Did he just parasite the science vessels? I mean, it makes sense, right? You don't want to kill your own science vessel to get rid of it. So now he's just going to have permanent vision of wherever the science vessels are. Flash had to have seen that, right? Whoa. And he's pushing. Still a group of 11 queens. And it, it feels like Flash is holding and therefore winning because Larva's out of money. He has to break Flash or he's going to run out. Here we go. This is the fight, right? This is it. This is everything right here. He's using the queens. He needs to break those tanks. He's kick licking all the queens. They're coming. He had them far enough away to give himself time. The broodlings get six, seven tanks immediately. And he drew out and radiate as well. There's still more queens. That, that tank count has been cut down. Some more broodlings. Two more tanks. I mean, is this the cost-efficient Zerg? Is this how you play Zerg at this point? Because he's only losing, like, one or two queens. Narva's not happy with this situation. He's he's choked out right now. He needs to break that middle base, or he's just going to bleed out. Oh, here we go. He's just going for it. Do we have any Dark Swarm? Dark Swarm on the side. How does Flash react? Flash doesn't have that much here. There's only a few more tanks, and they got Swarm all over him. He's actually attacking towards the south at the same time. He's committing the- Oh, big, massive plug! That's how you say it. Don't tell me how to live my life. Uh, and he gets almost all of those units down there around a cracklings. Oh, they're just coming through. He's going to be able to hold on to that base and break the middle. I think Larva's done it. Flash is to 150 supply. He doesn't have the reinforcements. There are too many defilers and too many queens. Right now, Larva is a wizard with all these spells he's casting. The science vessels don't really have energy. And he's, he's broken the middle. He's broken it. Well, and then Flash's reinforcements come up. He's at 133, even on 133 supply. Larva deflected and pushed at the same time. The, the classic punch-counter-punch punch combo. But Flash is trying to retake. He's setting that command center back down. The fact it had to lift was a big deal in the first place.
Oh, Flash just has to irradiate on one of the defilers. Oh, wait, he missed it. Still a couple lurkers working on it here. But a Dark Swarm comes out before the irradiate defiler dies. Some more broodlings. Wait, no, he parasited the frontline tank. Which will give him vision when he wants to queue up the queens. If he doesn't have that parasite, he doesn't have vision to be able to queue up the broodling so he can actually fight. I mean, I keep looking. To, this is all about Larva. Flash is just playing solid. He's he he's gotten driven back, mostly because Larva I think is playing pretty insane right now, and not because Flash is making big mistakes. He still has twelve queens. He's just a mass queen strat. The fucking aristocracy, Zerg. The royal Zerg. All right, there you go. New nickname. The royal Zerg. Mass Queen is a real strat in every game. Here come the Queens. He gets the Broodlings. The front line of tanks is gone. Flash trying to scramble to deal with it. He, he's dealing with some of the spider mines. Not that well. All right. The Lurker's trying to get into the mineral line. They've cleared out the tank line. The Dark Swarm will force the lift again. Unless he has the uh, irradiates. I don't think he does. He doesn't have multiple radiates right now. He's been using them. And the command center lifts. He holds the middle again. 139 to 124 supply and flash for one of the first. He's... Oh! Oh, did you see that? No, we're going back. Look what he's doing! Look at flash. In order to hit under the dark swarm, he's bringing his vulture in and using the splash damage to kill the lurkers under the dark swarm. Look at... Ah! And another dark swarm. This shit! I don't... <laughs> Flash is pulling out all the stops, but so is Larva. He's front he's shooting his own vultures to splash the lurkers under the swarm to actually get damage done so we can reestablish this middle base. Oh my god. But he's he's cut off the middle. Flash doesn't have money. Neither does Larva. But Flash is at 116 supply. He's been the cost of. There's still the queen. The queen swarm. The queen swarm is is. He's killed his own SCV. But the queen swarm. If if he wins, the queen swarm has won this game. It was all of, the queens broke the tank lines that he needed to break, so we could actually bring in his units. But Flash is hurting now. He's he's spending every every point of minerals and every point of gas. He's mined out of all but two bases. One base, not including the center. If he doesn't hold on to the center, now it's do or die. He was maxed out and he couldn't hold the center. He's down 35 supply. How does he hold it now? How do you hold it now, Flash? Oh, well, he's killing some defilers. That helps. If he can actually snipe off the queens... It doesn't seem like there's that, like, he has so many defilers and so many queens that his ground army, Larva's ground army, is not that large. He has, what the, look, what the fuck? He has, like, 25 queens! This is not a thing! That, that's, they're two supply, right? Like, that's 50 supply of queens! I don't, I don't, <laughs> that's too many queens! He's trying to break through. There's nothing actually to stop him here. Like, there's no anti-air. Oh, he just lost it at 5 Flash needs to hold this base. It's very simple. The Broodlings come out. The, the Goliaths come up. He unseaged all his tanks. Flash reestablishing. He's at 112. And he's hurting for money. He's really hurting for money now. The Goliaths are in front. He uses Broodlings on the Goliaths. I'm not sure if that's the ideal, ideal target. He's still got another round! There's another round of queens! He's making more lurkers, too. Flash is struggling. He really needs that gas. You can't win this with vultures. Vultures don't counter lurkers that well. Oh, but there's some overlords. Are these overlords, do they have anything in them? They're just to soak! They're just soaking the goliath hits! He's soaking the goliath hits, but he kind of messed that up. He... He kind of like sent. Oh no, they had they had lings in them. Okay, but Darvo getting a little bit 
scrambled there. He lost some queens and also the overlords without really dropping out of them. So he's struggling to click it all down, whereas Flash is just trying to hold on all right now. If, how do you finish off the quick? What's the play? Go back to Marines? Like... Oh god, that position. That's that's that seems to be pretty unbreakable right there. Like that's like five, six lurkers, a dark storm with another defiler behind it. Flash is broke. And he's at nearing that forty five degree angle. He's trying to expand to a base that's even closer to where Larva's rally point is. Some broodlings are coming in. Flash, not not excited about not excited about that. That was Flash there with his uh, exclamatory remark. I mean, he has command centers there, but like, it's 94. But once again, the queens can't. I mean, I guess they can finish the game, but Larva is actually broke. Larva has like he still has mineral patches in his main. I'm not sure why he's not mining from there. But he has patch. Look at his money. Look, no, look at look at it. Larva's minerals. They're not going up. His minerals are not going up. He has zero income. He has mineral patches in his main, but he's not money. Larva has zero income. He's drone rushing. He's drone rushing. Here come the, the spider mines are coming out. He has nothing left. The drones are called up to fight. Another tank will go down. He still has the lurkers. He still has the queens. Literally, though, there's, like, defilers and drones fighting. Larva needs to keep the dark swarms on these lurkers. Is but it, it... Flash is still only... He only has barely that base of mining. There's still patches in the main. I don't know how much they have, but he pulled out of his main. Like, Larva could find a few hundred more minerals in the main. Oh, Plague! Yeah, Plague! God! But the cost efficiency of the broodling, like, if he gets broodlings on units that are at one HP, the broodlings will kill units. Like the splash damage of siege tanks. 106 to 84 supply. Oh, see right there. A couple broodlings come out, kill the units. Splash damage kills a few more. But he he can't let Flash keep mining from that base. Oh, these queens aren't going. He gets an irradiate, but some broodlings came out as well. Flash at 78. Larva starting to dip on supply. Has Flash held long enough? More queens are coming in. There's just there's nothing else like that. He can't he can't cast broodling on no units. What do you do? Cast it on STV? No, he gets some tanks. Flash at 64. Flash getting all rustled up. Oh, we're at we're at full lean. I think we've reached maximum. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're at maximum lean. He's even popping his head in. Flash doesn't get more serious than this. Okay. We have reached maximum angle. Another irradiate comes out. I, I guess broodlings only work on ground units? A dark swarm. Where are the units? Where are the units from Flash? He doesn't have... This is his only mining. There's a single lurker. There's a couple lurkers under the swarm. Flash retreats. He's probably brought a command center from who knows where. I think that was from his third. Who knows at this point? But Larva is at 15. He's mining again from his main, I think. Or he's long distance mining from where. Maybe some of the drones return minerals from wherever, like, from where they attacked Flash's base. Who knows? But, I mean, he still has money. Is he just drawing fire? The Scourge! Take out a science vessel! I don't know if Flash has any vessels left. He's at 42 supply. The Queens come in, kill a Goliath. He's using Spawn Broodling on... Okay, there's one science vessel. He's using Spawn Broodling on SCVs now. Okay, that's where we are. This is what's happening. Another round. The Broodlings actually look very scary in this game. Wait. Are those still broodlings? Looks like looks like Larva got a donation. That's quite a that's quite an alert you have. Larva pro streamer. The command center is parasited. I don't know if that actually does anything. Besides give him vision, but 
Those broodlings, how long do they last? There's a single lurker. He doesn't- he's drone rushing again! The single lurker. One lurker. Flash has no income now. Larva has... Larva is long distance mining from what was Flash's base in an attempt to get any more minerals. There is a wraith. Is there any anti-air? Is there any anti-air? The queens can't hit it. The queens can do nothing. Is No, he has Scourge. He has Scourge. If he gets both vessels with the Scourge... Oh, he can't lose the vessels. If Flash loses the vessels, this long-distance mining might give him enough Scourge to kill the Wraith. Oh, he's juking! He's jiving! He loses one! He's down to one! He got one! He got a Radiant on the last Defiler! The long-distance mining in, in his main. Larva's mining from his main with whatever he has left again. I don't know how many minerals are left, but he's mining from his main for now. I heard another science vessel die. I don't know where. Some vulture micro on a single vulture coming out from Flash. The queens? Still, he's... Flash can't stop him from taking the minerals from his base. He has not... Okay, there's a single vulture. He can't stop... He's gonna... Ah! More spawn brutally. Flash is out of SCVs. Where, where? Flash said something about a wraith and he's at ten supply. That's the game. He's at full tilt. He's staring. He's, he said he's not happy. I think Larva's done it. <sighs> <laughs> Oh. 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 Uh, here's a link to the video. You guys probably will want to just watch that for yourselves. And uh, there you go. Here's a link to the video. Thanks to Day9 for uh, showing that one to people. I, I know Day9 just...